This is an imaginary opening theme song. Theme song. Oh. Ah, yes. What is the best thing about buying a $60 to $70 game, you might ask? Why, of course, it's ads. Because that's what you really want in your AAA games. You want to see ads, okay? You want ads to be everywhere, plastered everywhere, and then just do a dance with ads and be all like, yes, this is my game. My game is ads. My game is ads. My game is ads. Do, do, do. My game is ads. What? You're saying that's not what you want to do? Well, EA thinks otherwise, and I think that you actually do want ads in your games and that they will uh, make your wish come true. Don't you worry. You might ask to yourself, what are you even talking about, Drea? And let's check out some articles to show you exactly where I'm coming from. After calling the next battlefield another tremendous life service, EA CEO threatens to put ads in AAA games. Electronic Arts CEO Andrew Wilson made a string of controversial statements in the company's most recent earnings call with potential in-game ads and comments about the next Battlefield raising some eyebrows. Eyebrows, you say? Mm -hmm. Battlefield might not be the Call of Duty rival that it once was following a string of uh, divisive releases, but Wilson was eager to hype up the next entry in the large-scale, revolutionized series. I've just spent a whole bunch of time with the collective Battlefield team, says Wilson, finally calling uh, the next game another tremendous live service. Uh, uh, for some reason, I don't really believe you. Hmm. Battlefield hasn't embraced the live service snuff as heavily as Call of Duty or Destiny has, but the seasonal updates and Battle Pass certainly make the last few shooters qualify. Though, after coming off of Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 2042's troubled launches, huh, it's almost like 2024, but it's 2042. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the series has ever had another tremendous life service to brag about, whatever that might mean nowadays. I mean, if you don't know what it means, why are you talking about it? I don't know. <laughs> Regardless, Wilson still boasts that uh, the largest Battlefield team in franchise history will build a Battlefield universe across connected multiplayer and single player experiences. The Dead Space remake developers EA Motive were just put to work on Battlefield, leaving the cult horror series in limbo while the studio set up to focus on single player Battlefield experiences was shut down. Yeah, the gaming industry really can't make up their minds what they want to do and they just keep on shutting down a lot of stuff and, and yet they have such brilliant ideas don't they because <laughs> totally we buy a game to see ads because why would you want to play a game when you could see ads in the game right whatever the next battlefield looks like is not in the publisher's plans for this fiscal year ending uh, march 2025 an ea original game and an ip they own potentially dragon age red wolf are coming soon though what was perhaps more controversial was wilson's comments about implementing advertising in to traditional AA games. Advertising has an opportunity to be a meaningful driver of growth for us, he continued. We have teams internally in the company right now looking at how we do very thoughtful implementation side of our game experiences. This kind of sounds like when they try to do the ads in movies, right? And they try to be all subtle and they just put it in your face. Like if it's for a car, they just put the car in your face. If it's for a drink, it's all like, Look, why is the shot lingering on a drink for like 10 seconds or something? Uh, 2020's UFC 4 uh, included full screen ads for the Amazon Prime TV show The Boys, a decision that had to be walked back after huge fan backlash. Uh huh. And yet, even though there was backlash, they're still trying to do stuff. Okay. Several other EA games have also experimented with ads in the past, such as 2004's Need for Speed Underground 2, where the company paid ads on the side of in game billboards. I mean, at least that one's a little bit less invasive in a way right because like if you don't look at the billboards well, how are you going to see them anyways huh? getting blasted with unwanted roadside ads is part of the driving experience so i take that over literal in-game pop-ups yeah well is the ceo of ea like going on his phone and then playing those games where ads keep popping up every like 30 seconds or so and they want you to watch like at least 30 second ads for whatever rewards and stuff and then he thought to himself huh this is such a good idea is that what this is or something i have no idea yeah. Well, let's check another article, shall we? It says EA is reportedly considering a more aggressive in game ad policy with regards to its AA games, according to a recent earnings call for the developer. CEO a 
Andrew Wilson stated that the company is working on thoughtful implementations of ads with work on the new system still being early in development. He is reported ad policy shift comes as the developers plan in the light year of 2024 with some of the biggest franchises taking the year off. Uh, so you can't release games so you're all like guys look forward to ads. Okay forget about looking forward to games. No you look forward to ads. Uh -huh. Electronic Arts is considering more heavily implementing advertising within its AAA titles according to the studio CEO during a recent earnings call. With a wide library of games, EA has grown into one of the largest third-party developers in the gaming industry with everything from Battlefield and Need for Speed to sports games in its repertoire. The studio has helped to publish some of the game's most popular franchises like The Sims and Apex Legends among others. Now EA is reportedly uh, looking at more aggressive ads within its games. That's so sad man. Like you have such popular franchises and yet you look at those popular game franchises and you say but we really want to be an ad company don't we ea and the subsidiaries have experimented with in-game ads in the past often sparking up controversy among fans an update to the sims 4 earlier this year featured an aggressive ad push within the game adding the shop button to the gamer's user interface that encourages players to buy the newest expansions ea has also received criticism from fans for its in-game ad practices featuring uh, heavy advertising in the sports games and even retroactively placing ads in games like UFC 4. Fans criticize you, they don't like it, but you still think it's a good idea. Where's the connection? <laughs> How do you think it's still a good idea, man? Now a new statement from EA's CEO suggests the company is looking to push in-game ads even more. Yeah, because they just really want even more pushback and criticism from people they're trying to sell their games to. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What kind of reverse play is this, man? EA considering more dynamic ads in, a, in AAA games. As reported by The Verge during a recent earnings call within the company, EA CEO Andrew Wilson spoke to the company's stance regarding in-game advertisements. According to Wilson, the developer is considering more dynamic ad insertion within EA's AAA game releases revealing that the company is working on a new system. Wilson did state that EA was looking for thoughtful implementations of in-game ads within the studio's new games, suggesting that work on the new ad policy was still early. The CEO did however express more excitement at the potential for great advertisements outside the game. Yeah, so it says a lot when a gaming company's CEO is more excited about ads than it is about making actual games. Either you're in the wrong industry or people that should never have been in a game company have now overtaken it so much that we're in trouble. And by we, I mean anyone that likes games, we're in trouble. A more aggressive ad policy from EA within its games would likely spark significant controversy among fans. I mean, likely is an understatement. Imagine there will be a huge backlash. With in-game ads being a hot-button issue, the prevalence of younger gamers has led several games to change their advertising strategies, like Roblox blocking all ads for users on their 13 last year. Yeah, so people don't want ads, they don't like ads, and he still thinks this is a good idea. The rise of mobile gaming has also seen in-game ads take on greater prevalence, with many games integrating ads and sometimes even tempting players with microtransactions to remove ads. Yeah, and also there's a lot of mobile games that out of that they have no ads in their game that's why they're a good game that's why you should play them <laughs> like the more you try to force ads on people the more people will stay away from what you produce i don't know if this guy wants to bring ea down and collapse it or something or what's happening here EA's consideration towards ads in its uh, AAA games comes as the studio is reporting planning a lighter year for 2024 with its releases. 2023 saw a plethora of high-profile games debut from the studio with EA launching the Dead Space remake and Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Star Wars Jedi Survivor was definitely not well received. So instead of actually making good games, they think, whatever, just put it in ads, it's fine. While EA has stated it will release its annual sports games as usual, uh, some of the developers' heavy hitters, like the previously mentioned Battlefield and The Sims, are set to skip releasing the game in 2024. Yes, because whenever you play your soccer games from EA, whenever you 
you know, kick the ball, you want to see oh, an edge on the ball itself, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Fans will have to wait and see what EA's more dynamic ads mean for its AA games. Yeah, and I don't think it means anything good, honestly. Like, this is such a... Why are you doing this in the first place? Like, don't do this, bruh, moment. And he's still all like, no, I'm definitely doing this. Yeah, bruh. I don't know which parallel universe he's trying to live in to think that this is the best idea ever. Like, dude, you know, EA does not stand for ad company, right? It stands for you know gaming company so where is the gaming in this why are you so excited for ads why are the people that are in ceo positions like look if you're in a ceo position no one is telling you to absolutely love games you know it would help if you actually did like games at least a little bit right but even if you don't just you know hire people to actually do and then you know have them make incredible games and then just you know enjoy your private jets with the money that they made for you thanks to them making actual games that work and people enjoy you know it just seems like the more the huge game companies are secure in how they feel and they're secure in the money and they think that people will just shill out money no matter what to them uh the more that they're doing the most bizarre things ever and think they can get away with everything like this will a hundred percent flop on you but the reason why you're announcing that you're still going to do this means that you really have no respect for <laughs> anyone purchasing your games and that is a huge red flag i mean i know ea has red in its logo but like you don't got to be a red flag man why are you doing this so oh, no at this rate uh if you see a game and you think it might be cool and it's released by ea maybe think twice before you even attempt to play it <laughs> but yeah i'll see you guys in another video bye bye